Welcome back to the channel. We are working on a new project. It's a 2003 E350 4x4 7.3 liter Super Duty diesel, all the adjectives van. So we're gonna do our framing. We haven't seen much on how people frame these. We've done our insulation and ran our wires and we got videos on all that. But now we've already added one piece on. It's a furring strip. Home Depot or Lowe's specialize in these. Danny, show them where the next eight footer is going. So we've, um, these are all where the window things are. We've kind of marked off a little map, but you can also feel it. Um, so we're gonna go here with the middle one and then we're gonna have one going across the bottom. So in order to do this, you're gonna need the uh, furring strips. Uh, you'll need these wood to metal self-tapping screws uh, you'll also need an impact driver and you'll need a drill to countersink the hole so you can put your walls on flush you also need some sort of cutting device for your oh yeah you'll need a uh, chop saw miter saw and if you don't have any of that a skill saw will do so we have one set up on an angle and one for flat cuts because we are going to do some crazy cuts here and we also have a craig jig and you'll see how we use the Craig jig. And now we're gonna get into it. We've already laid two pieces in, so let's uh, see how much we can get done. All right, so we're done with the first steps of building your van where you insulate and put the reflectix, you run all the wiring, you do that first. You run the wiring, then the insulation, then the reflectix. So we already drilled some holes for the solar panel to come down through, and we have sent all of our alternator cords and everything all the way to the battery and we have all of our components drop down to where they're going to be once we found out Adam's layout. And now we are going to move on to framing. We have a couple videos showing you how to frame out a sprinter and we're going to show you how we're going to frame out this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take all this old existing framing out. Uh, if you remember our step-by-step -step how to build a van video uh up here the uh framing is like the fifth step so we gotta go through get our layout down so we just kind of broke ground we didn't get too deep just some things going and danny's already taking it apart all right so i'm making some cut list i already cut these this helps your framing go quicker so you can just chop everything and put it in nice little thing for the framing is a craig jig so this helps us attach our um framing in through a countersink screw but it gives it a nice little drill hole and it has a little drill bit and i'll show you what it looks like there's the uh pocket hole screw there and now i'm just going to install it into the wall and i just use a speed square Okay, we're gonna wrap it up for today. I figured I'd show you the progress. We got a lot of framing done and they're all just jigged in. There's a little bit of space behind each frame, but that's okay. I can live with that. That Reflectix will actually have a nice air gap. And we got some lights in. And we did a lot of tongue and groove work and we shellacked them and installed them. So it's looking clean. Tomorrow we'll try to knock out the rest of the framing, get the more walls on, and like tackle some more electrical. Yeah, and you said we did the solar panels, right? Yeah, and we did solar Day panels. Three, down. We attached these top pieces all into the metal, and then I really utilized the Craig jig to get all these uh, into the uh, wood and wood. So it's, I mean, it's very sturdy. You can shake the whole van off of this. So yeah, I didn't see much on the internet for doing this. We also, all the horizontal lines, we connected to the uh, van ribs wherever we could find them. Yeah, there's not many ribs here on this passenger side, especially. So we, we really had to get creative. Yeah, and then here's the other side. And 
Yeah, as you can see, we just got a lot of jigs. All the horizontals go into the uh, frame. And we still got to figure out this corner here. But we're pretty happy with how we got this done. Yeah, we like to frame it out like this because we have had a uh, Toyota Dolphin in the past. And that was metal on wood. And everything rotted out. When we Maybe we can pull up some footage right now and show you like what ended up with that Toyota Dolphin. We had to take the whole thing down. So you never want to put wood on metal because it is going to condensate in here and you don't want it to rot out. All right, so on the framing here, I just want to point out it's uh, nice to use the Craig jig and also to countersink your screws into the wood. Uh, so then when you're putting on your wall, it, it's going to lay flat and you're not going to have a screw head or anything bulging out and causing your wood to not be able to get a positive connection there. A uh, popular question is how do you get these uh, horizontal pieces to attach and we use a uh, self-tapping screw we recommend one with a thicker thread yeah also always check your screw size and how much cavity you have you don't want to send a screw through the van so we're still working on our framing i just want to show you something to keep an eye out for when you're doing it just know where your material will end and uh, add a piece of framing there so you can get both your tongue and groove and your uh, other interior wall on there. So we need an anchor point. So we're adding a, a strip across. All right, so we finished the uh, framing here and the van walls kind of go in. So in order to bring them back out, we cut a uh, kind of like a wedge out of a two by four. Because if you see where the frame was, it would bring that wall down and it just wouldn't meet flush. And we want to get positive connection. So Danny's cut our piece and they're going to do a tile mosaic or something like that on this. So we're just leaving them a blank canvas. Alrighty, so that's a wrap on the framing. You can see I'm here in the finished van. You want to see how we get to this step? Just watch that next episode. Click the notifications button, subscribe, like, buy that Van Kooks merch, and check us out online, guys, www.vancooks.com. We got lots of information on our website on how to do this, so if you could check that out too, that'd be awesome. And Danny says bye. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you. Thanks for all the likes and watching. Yeah, so check back next week and we'll be getting this uh, tongue and groove wall on we'll show you how we got these nice clean results and we'll see you guys next time